Hi, I'm Corey from ID Parts, and in this video, I'll show you how to check and adjust the timing on your ALH TDI. There are three things you will need to adjust the timing on an ALH. The most important is a VCDS, otherwise known as VAGCOM from Rostec. It's a diagnostic tool that's made especially for Volkswagens. The other th two things you'll need are a 22 millimeter open-ended wrench, otherwise known as a box wrench, and a 13 millimeter socket on a very small ratchet. The shorter the better because there's not a lot of clearance. To adjust the injection pump timing, we first have to get access to the timing belt, which means removing the cover of the engine and removing the timing belt upper cover. This car has the uh, BEW style posts, so we can just pull these right off. And we can remove the timing belt cover by unclipping these three metal clips. Slide it up, out, and up. The sprocket we're dealing with to adjust the injection pump timing is going to be this injection pump sprocket right here. If you look, you'll see there's a big 22 millimeter nut, and then there are going to be three bolts that are inside the injection pump sprocket. These are the three bolts we need to loosen in order to be able to adjust the pump. The first thing we'll do is take the 13 millimeter socket on the ratchet and loosen those three bolts. It's important that you just loosen the bolts. You definitely don't want to take them out, and you want a little bit of friction left on the bolt. You don't want them to be loose. With the bolts loosened up, we're going to take the 22 millimeter wrench and put it on that 22 millimeter big nut. Now, depending on your car, you want to go either backwards or forwards with the wrench. If you need to retard the timing or move it backwards, you want to push the wrench towards the windshield. If you want to advance the timing, you want to pull the wrench towards the bumper. So after tapping the wrench in the direction we need to go, we're going to take the wrench off, tighten up those three bolts, and start the car. We're going to open up VCDS and check where our timing is. Here we are in VCDS. We've opened up the VCDS program, and we're going to check the timing by opening up the engine control module. Let this load up. Then we need to go down on the right hand side to basic settings 04. Click on that. Then we don't want to change anything. We want to leave the group as 00 and just hit go. A bunch of numbers will pop up, but the most important thing we're looking for is the bottom right TDI timing. Click on that. When you click on that, a graph chart will pop up in a new window and it may not have any data in it and the reason is you have to select your engine on the bottom right we'll do that here we're going to look at an alh there we go and here's the graph there's a green line a blue line and a red line that indicates the range where your timing should be closer to the green is advanced closer to the red is retarded so you want to be close to the blue line as possible on this car, the timing is so advanced it's off the chart, so we'll have to push the timing backwards. And again, that's by tapping the wrench towards the windshield. We'll bring that line down to closer to the blue area, and hopefully we'll get it on the first try. But if we don't, we'll just repeat this process until we get it. After you're done looking at the timing, you want to close this window and then completely close out of VCDS before shutting down the car. You can repeat this process as many times as you need to to get the timing where you want it. However, be careful of not being too aggressive just in case you overshoot your mark. It can be very hard to get it back to where you need it to be. If you have any other questions about this video, send us an email at sales at idparts.com. Check out our other YouTube videos or check out the ID Parts post at post.idparts.com. We're done with this car. We're going to put the covers back on and drive it away. Thanks for watching.